Hey guys, this is a semester one extension one paper from Bark in 2012, and it's a cracker about uh, inverse functions. So the question is, they give you the, the, the function of, of, of some normal function here, so 2 over 5x plus 10 plus 1, and they say, what, what's the inverse function? Um, and I'll, I'll just talk about briefly what the inverse function is. So the inverse function is what you get when you just swap the x's and y's around. So when you've got, so say that this is the normal function that, that I've just given it here, and I've just called this normal function y. Um, and the normal, the, the inverse function is is what you get when you just swap the x's and y's. So it was initially y here, now I've got x, um, and it was initially x here, now I've got y. So I've just swapped those around. And what this equation will boil down to is just a bit of algebra, and we're going to try and solve for y. So make y the subject, um, and then and then that'll be the, the the function of the of the inverse function to this normal one up here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to first minus one to both sides because we're trying to find y. So we're going to get x minus one equals nifty little blue. So uh, that'll get two over five y plus ten. Too easy. So now we're going to times both sides by 5y plus 10. So I'm going to get 5y plus 10. Then we still had our x minus 1 over here. Yep. Um, and then we've just got 2 on two, 2 left over. So I've times both sides by 5y plus 10 there. Now I'm going to divide both sides by x minus 1. Because we're trying to get this, the subject over here. So 5y plus 10 equals, so I'm going to, we're going to get... 2 over x minus 1, because I've just divided both sides by x minus 1. Beauty. So we're getting warm to getting this y by itself. Now we're going to minus 10 to both sides. So we're going to get 5y equals 2 over x minus 1. And then we've minus 10 to both sides, remember? Um, so that's it cancelled on the left-hand side. Now we're, we're really warm. So this is, what, we're, this is what 5y equals. We just want what 1y equals. Beautiful. So we're going to times this by one fifth, everything here by one fifth. So the two stays on top, and then the fifth will expand out. So we're going to get 5x minus 5 on the bottom, and we're dividing this minus 10 by 5, so we get minus 2. Too easy. So this is the inverse function. So it's, it's 2 over 5x minus 5, and then minus 2. Let's see which one of those works out with. Um, beautiful. I think it, A, is that it? So 2 over 5x minus 5 minus 2. Beautiful. So, that, so that's the answer. 7 is A. And so I'll just briefly recap what we've done. So I've just written out the function again. The main step is just bang easy. You just swap the x's and the y's around. So this was a y, we put an x. This was an x, we put a y. And then the question just becomes a bit of algebraic manipulation to find y by itself, um, which is what the main bulk of the question did. And this answer just fell out, eh? Um, so I hope that was clear. I'll see you in the next one.